uh, let's talk about liver cancer which is known as hepatocellular cancer well liver cancer happens to be the sixth commonest cancer across the globe this also unfortunately has the third commonest mortality amongst cancer 9 lakh patients or 9 lakh people are diagnosed each year with liver cancer 70% of this entire burden in, is in countries like ours asia is the center of liver cancer common causes include hepatitis b hepatitis c which causes chronic liver disease and subsequently cirrhosis there are other some storage disease but what we have to know is this is also a lifestyle disease related to obesity related to alcohol intake and of course chronic uncontrolled diabetes so nash which is non alcohol related steatohepatosis or alcoholic liver disease commonly causes chronic liver disease leading to cirrhosis and liver cancer therefore it is a preventable disease as well also vaccination plays a very important role certain countries have brought down the incidence of liver cancer remarkably only by good vaccination uh, intensity or penetration in the common masses so let us talk in depth about liver cancer uh, dr prajwit can you please talk about intra arterial therapies in liver cancer so intra arterial therapies are the minimally invasive treatment that is available for hepatocellular carcinoma and few other tumors as well so what we do in intra arterial therapy is that we send thin flexible tubes from the thigh or from the hand into the liver specifically to the site of the hepatocellular carcinoma and then we inject some beads now which either it is a bland bead just a normal bead which will block the vessel or it's a bead which is loaded with chemotherapeutic agents which can deliver very high dose of chemotherapeutic uh, drugs to the tumor or we can even uh, include some radio therapeutic agents Uh, example yttrium 90 is what is loaded in the bead and we directly delivered to the hepatocellular carcinoma so this is a minimally invasive treatment where the patient gets admitted uh, today and get the treatment done and discharge within one day after the procedure no scar no uh, no surgical morbidity so very uh, safe procedure as well so now when do we do this uh, intra arterial therapies Now, whenever there is a early stage of a liver limited uh, disease of hepatocellular carcinoma if it is very small either we try to resect the lesion that is our first option but if the resection is not possible then we do an ablation or if the transplant is not possible then we do an ablation ablation in, is in which we burn the tumor if this ablation is also not possible because of some technical difficulties or because of the size of the tumor for example more than 3 lesions more than 3 cm is when we shift to intra arterial therapies uh, because of the good outcome in intra arterial therapies now the first thing if it is more than 3 more than 3 cm we usually try to go for trans arterial chemoembolization now if the size is too big and if there is portal vein in invasion then in such cases we cannot completely block the blood vessel in such cases we use these particles to deliver the radiotherapeutic agents in which we don't completely block the blood vessel but the the particles will go into the blood blood vessels and sit inside the the vessels that's when we do radiotherapeutic agents now these are the various uh, procedures in intra arterial therapies when we cannot do these procedures the most important thing is when the patient uh, performance status is not good patient is bedridden he is not able to do his day, routine activity then there is no use of doing these procedures which may not help him or if the the, the, the tumor has spread beyond the liver then again we cannot uh, do the disease, uh, do this treatment and the third most important thing is the liver function if the liver function is too bad uh, what we say child c uh, category then in such cases we cannot do this procedure so basically dr prajwit mentioned uh, a therapy called as tas which is trans arterial chemoembolization whenever it is not possible then we also explore the possibility of tear which is trans arterial radio embolization in which a radio pharmaceutical is used uh, a, a, a drug is tagged to a radio pharmaceutical to be delivered inside and then there is tear which is trans arterial embolization alone we have to have a suitable candidate for taste tear or tape and so much yes thank you thank you